My friends, thank you for coming at such short notice. We were told the matter was urgent. I take it Yuguri and Sorobin are also involved? Ah, oh, my presence here is but a happy coincidence. I am come on separate business, which can wait. My apologies. Master Hancock, pray, tell our friends exactly what you told me. Of course, of course. Some few days ago, a large detachment of soldiers was seen arriving at the Garlean Embassy. This seemed to me most unusual, as no personages of note are due to visit for a matter of months. So, I made a few inquiries, whereupon I learned of a most curious rumour. Apparently, the soldiers were dispatched to Kugani to investigate recent sightings of a certain individual. The late acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma, Yotsuyu. I beg your pardon? I too am loath to believe it. I saw the keep come down on top of her. We all did. I would not presume to question your eyewitness accounts, nor am I one to take rumours at face value. The fact is, the Garleans have no knowledge of what took place at Dorma Castle. They may well be chasing after a woman who merely resembles Yotsuyu. But a woman who resembles Yotsuyu in the company of a grizzled Rogadin samurai? I dare say that thickens the plot. Gosetsu! He's alive! While I've no conclusive proof, I thought that such a possibility warranted your attention. Have you informed Lord Hien? Well, I think we'd all like to believe the old bear survived. Indeed. While I dare not give myself wholly to hope, I will not deny that I have prayed for such a miracle ever since that fateful day. But regardless of my personal feelings, if the Empire has seen fit to pursue these rumors so vigorously, we can scarce afford to ignore them. I am bound by duty to ascertain the truth of the matter. Will you join me in this quest? Thank you. If Gorsetsu yet lives, he will need our help if he is to avoid capture. Gosetsu is a dear friend, and we cannot abandon him to the mercy of the Empire. Our course is clear. Hancock, is there aught else you can tell us? Alas, not. But... I have taken the liberty of employing one of the finest informants money can buy. You shall have the latest intelligence on the Garleans' movements and more besides.
Right. I suggest we begin by learning what we can from the sentries. What's going on out there? Travellers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. The Garleans have launched an attack on the Confederacy. We have no reason to believe they'll turn their attention here, but for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. The Garleans bear no love for the Confederacy, but with Doma lost to them, why would they attack? Unless... Unless Yotsugu is on that island. Even if she isn't, our allies are under attack and they need our help. We will help them while you remain with Soroban. Arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine, but you haven't heard the last of this. Soroban, we may need to make a swift exit. See that the boat is ready to sail at a moment's notice. It shall be done. What, and you're going to swim there, are you? Tis the quickest way, and you may rest assured I've been practicing. Lady Yotsuyu, we're here to rescue you. Please, come with us. Stay back, Tsuyu. <coughs> Are you all right? Is he all right? Gozetsu! Damn it! We took too long. Change of plan. Eliminate hostiles! All forces! Attack! Gosetsu, thank the heavens! <laughs> you giddy! My friends, the Kami were kind to guide your steps this way. It's over. The Imperials are retreating. I suppose we have you to thank for that. But they would never have come here were it not for her. I had a bad feeling the moment your samurai friend arrived with that woman in tow. Do not be afraid, Suyu. These people are my friends. Friends? Forgive me, but at the risk of souring the mood, I believe you owe us an explanation. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. 
Of course. I'll not begrudge you that. As you know, we were trapped inside the keep when it collapsed. But even as the roof crumbled above us, so too did the floor below. We were swept out into the one river, where we would surely have drowned had a stout wooden door not chanced to float by, offering us a raft of sorts. Exhausted, we drifted out to sea at the mercy of the tides, which saw fit to dispense us on a desert island. She was with you the entire time. Aye. T'was her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe it or not. Some Galian witchcraft in the weave. But it offered precious little protection against the fall. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories, and speaking like a child. A trick, surely. That was my first thought, I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Contemplated it long and hard. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. T'was their will that we survive, both of us, together. And together we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Judge what? She's your prisoner, old man. Do with her as you will. Call her Tsuyu, or whatever else tickles your fancy. T'was a name given out of necessity whilst on the road. Nothing more. As you say. But remember this. Our people suffered much at that woman's hands. When the time comes, I trust you won't let emotion blind you to what needs to be done. You have my word. Well, I must be going. I have an unholy mess to clean up. You should be on your way too, before the Imperials decide to take another tilt. Oh, and we'll overlook the tithe this once. You're welcome. My lord Hian, I am returned. 
Save your tears for the morrow. For we who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. And welcome it you did, even as the keep fell down around us. At that moment, in your smile, I spied a shred of hope. One which I have clung to ever since. Gosetsu! Full glad am I to see you alive and well. We have played this scene before, have we not? Though this time our roles are reversed. That they are. Meaning you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Welcome back, old friend. Now then, though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you certain complications. Rise, my friend. Tell me everything. The Empire is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. As acting Viceroy, Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Garleans will not soon give up the chase. Nay, it will end with her capture, or her death. Are you a friend too? She claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. I brought her here that you might decide her fate. Lost her memory, you say? Regardless, the people have not forgotten. Her face yet haunts their dreams. She cannot roam free. We will hold her here for a time. Place her in Jufia's care, with the express instruction that she is not to be seen. Yes, my lord. Come. No, I don't want to. Don't let her take me away. It's all right, Suyu. I will come with you. Be a good girl and listen to Yugiri. From a hound at his throat, to a puppy at his heel. If this is an act, it is a remarkable performance.
Ah, by the Kami! Your Lord Hian, leave me. Leave me, I beg of you. Say nothing of this. I, I, I was never here. There you are. Lady Yugiri, Lord Gosetsu, forgive me uh, my abrupt disappearance. You have your reasons, I am sure. Will you not share them? I was... I was her master when she was yet a courtesan. By the Kami. She worked in my establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. Yeah, she may be no maiden, he said, but she has some use left in her. He sold her short. When I first beheld her, I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. It was as if she had given up on life. She seemed more a doll than a woman. It was no profession for her, but I knew she would be popular, and so it proved. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. The rest you know. She became an Imperial informant, and for her loyal service won the office of acting Viceroy. While well, you came to serve the Liberation Front. It is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. Joining the Front was meant to be my atonement. But the truth is... The truth is, I am a coward whose only thought was to escape her wrath, then as now. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. I trust you have no objections, you giddy? None. It would not do to leave Yotsuyu in his care. I am in your debt. Who is it that you seek to protect, Gozetsu? Idle musings. Pray, pay me no mind.
A smoke signal? Thoughts, Yugiri? In former times, such signals were used to announce the coming of an emissary of peace. In Doma, at least. But could that truly be their intent? Who can say? Whatever they want, we cannot simply blast them out of the sky. Not when they were so gracious as to honor one of our cherished traditions. I would not have it said that we Dormans want for propriety. Then I shall go and reconnoiter. Nay, that won't be necessary. We will meet them openly. I would welcome this student of Dorman history in person, whomsoever he or she may be. As you wish, my lord. I shall arrange for a signal of our own to be fired in answer. We should be received by the Lord of Dorma himself. I but afford an emissary of peace the courtesy he is due. Welcome to Dorma, my lord. Ah, where are my manners? I am Asahi Sus Brutus, ambassador plenipotentiary of Garlemal. He is heir to the Nai-Uri clan, and Yotsu's stepbrother. It seems I need not introduce myself, not in the presence of the famed Yugiri Mistwalker. Your skills as a shinobi are known far and wide, my lady. It is true, the former acting viceroy is my sister, yet Bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. As will soon become plain, I come not to sow strife, but to end it. I am of the Populares, a collective which represents the interests of the common man. Long have we labored to bring about reform to the Empire's provincial policy. Happily for us, our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this mission, granting me the authority to speak with his voice. To negotiate peace with Dorma. Well then, we have much to discuss. Will you accompany me to my hall? Gladly, my lord. On behalf of my delegation, I offer you my humblest thanks. Never did I imagine that I would meet the gallant and noble Lord of Dorma himself, nor be welcomed into his magnificent hall. You'll forgive me if we forgo the pleasantries. You say you are come to negotiate peace. Unless I am mistaken, such negotiations are typically conducted between sovereign nations. 
I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Dommer's sovereignty. His radiance has yet to do so, that much is true. No, however, that he has expressed willingness to cede Dorma to her ancestral masters and treat with her as a friend. Since the days of Emperor Solus, the Empire has aggressively expanded its territory. While you may not agree with our Founding Father's policy of expansion, I believe there is room for discussion on the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. Icons are a blight upon this star. They cannot be suffered to exist. This you know as well as we. In his wisdom, Emperor Varus wishes to explore the possibility of an alliance to combat this common threat. On the condition that Dorma renounces summoning and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it, his radiance would extend the hand of friendship. Dorma has never shown any appetite for summoning. And it should go without saying that we will address any threat to our people, Icon or otherwise. With regard to the Kojin, I must stress that they only resorted to summoning under extreme provocation. When the Ruby Sea was at peace and their sacred relics safe, they looked not to their kami for protection. Yet even now there are certain parties who would destabilize the region with ill-conceived military forays. Unless they alter their course, we cannot hope to be rid of icons. Quite. I can but apologize. In seeking to eliminate icons, the Empire creates them. Tis an irony among ironies. One with which the people of Eorzea are well acquainted, I am told. Indeed, many summonings are the result of persecution, the weak being driven to call upon the divine for deliverance from the strong. So it was in Alamigo, the bitter fruit of Galian oppression. A tragic state of affairs. If we are to put an end to summoning once and for all, it shall not be through might, but harmony. Yet we continue to repeat our mistakes, oblivious to the lessons of history. My comrades and I would change all that. We, populares, have campaigned long and hard for a shift in imperial policy. And at last, the Emperor has seen fit to lend us an ear. Alas! There is a faction within Garlemald that would obstruct our every attempt at reform. A collection of pure-blooded Garlians who seek to consolidate their own supremacy. The Optimates. Lest you wonder, theirs was the hand that loosed our forces on the Confederacy. Twas a regrettable incident, one that flies in the face of everything we believe. And I swear to do all in my power to prevent a reoccurrence. That would be most welcome. But if I may speak plain, if the Empire itself is not of one mind, how can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honored? I cannot blame you for doubting us. Indeed, I should find it strange if you did not. And so, in the name of building trust, I would like to make a proposal. A prisoner exchange. Hmm. Under Garlian rule, no few Dormans were conscripted into the Imperial Army. We would repatriate them in return for those of ours you captured in the recent conflict. Naturally, any exchange would include the acting Viceroy. 
Yotsu? What makes you think we have her? Forgive me, my lord. Was it not your wish to speak plain? Let us not play games. I desire only to work to our mutual benefit. The Optimates tried and failed to take my sister by force. I would succeed by peaceable means, thereby strengthening my party's hand. It would be a lie to say I would not also be glad of my sister's safe return. Hmm. A fellow plain speaker. How refreshing. Very well. Your proposal has merit, but I will need time to consider it. Of course, my lord. May we remain in Dorma until you have come to a decision? You shall be our honored guests. Yugiri, I leave the ambassador and his retinue in your care. See that they are well looked after. You have our gratitude, Lord Hien. We shall look forward to your answer.